So, um, when I started um, making this um, carport, um, the oak hadn't been delivered, so, so I could get on. I put this my second wall plate, and I ran it through to support um, this gable wall that I made, and this last truss. Um, but basically, what I do now is the oak goalpost that we've made has basically got to come and support this. So what I've got to do is actually cut this out. And what I've done um, to hold to temporary prop it is put this piece of um, uh, rafter material all the way through there, which should hopefully support it. Um, and then when I cut when I cut this out, it, it shouldn't drop. And when we put the oak in, it will catch it all up and tie it in. finally got that in that's gone in an absolute treat uh, managed to get it in peg it together then we just acro propped it under here a little bit so that we could slide this bit of lead in afterwards and that's going to be dressed down over the brickwork um, I put a couple of extra noggins in the stud work here which I screw from either end and just up from those I've put some screws into the back of this oak I've done that in a few places um, it won't technically stop this oak They're moving anywhere it's more to attach the stud work to the oak and then what I've also done is just put a few fixings down this is my bottom plate into this oak so that's all fixed and looks an absolute treat so I'm really pleased with that so I'll get this last course of uh, featherboarding on here now and then all that will be finished to do there is put the, the corner pieces on here um, the last little job I've got to do now is to build a little um, stud wall through here and feather, return the featherboard round to close this ending. So trim those pegs off and then it's nearly there. So this is the um, course of feather edge that I've got to put on just over this oak. It lips down over the oak, 25mm, uh, and it goes up underneath uh, the one above it. Now because, just what my hands are, because um, this course isn't sitting on the course below it, um, we need to put a small bit of um, timber on here just to kick it out. So I've managed to cut that. It's already got a stained edge. I've cut that out of the um, spare length I've got. So when I put that one up, I left that unnailed obviously. I'm gonna put that one up under there um, and nail it. It should just kick it off and make the line, um, the, the face line run through.
So I fixed this at the top and now I'm just going to run have some fixes in the bottom. I'm not going to nail this. I'm going to pre-drill it and use some stainless steel screws because they'll go through my spacer behind and into the oven. last corner finished in here now um, the panels are done um, and it's nicely done scribed up the inside there and this corner post is on so you see the whole thing looks really neat and tidy now so uh, one last job I've actually got to do is cut some uh, corner braces uh, in here and they should have really been done uh, when I was mortising it all together, but we're going to sort of face fix these and put some bolts in them. So they're only decorative, so I'll get on with those now. So with a mixture of um, different tools, I've managed to create um, quite a nice corner brace here. Um, I basically used, uh, and I'm certainly not going to video myself uh, using that, but that's a useful tool that has helped me to make this edge here. And then I've just sort of cleaned it up with my belt sander, uh, my planers over there, and a hand uh, and a chisel. But that's one down. I've got one more to make. Right. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, just obviously the roof's being finished off. Um, so all the boarding's done. All the end caps are on. Um, made the two um, decorative corner braces and the goalpost. So yeah, overall, really pleased with that. Went quite well bit of huffing and puffing but I think when it's all finished and all of this area is cleaned out and graveled up it's going to look fantastic.